welcome back. It is once again the weekend. We're heading out for our new newest adventure. Um, we are returning back back to Switzerland and we're actually making a little pit stop in Zurich to pick up a friend before we head on over to Appenzell. I think one of the nicest parts about being in Europe is how accessible it is to travel places because now it's like every weekend is a mini vacation. Being from Florida, you have to drive like at least a third of your weekend to be able to get anywhere. It's true. We have made it. We've acquired our Hannah. We're in Basseron? Basseron. Basseron. <laughs> and we've got <laughs> mm, three miles to hike, maybe two hours of daylight left, and 2,000 feet to climb. We're staying tomorrow, right up there. Yeah. This is the ridge we're doing. Wild to me. We're over here, and that's over there. <laughs> well, look at how far we've already come. Right now, we just need to climb this yeah. first. Yeah. Wow. It's been going up for a while, and I think, I think that's where we go through that pass up there for goes back down. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> Stunning. This is Hannah. <laughs> um, Hannah and I have been friends. How long have we been friends, Hannah? Well, okay, we have I known know. each other since elementary school. Yes, but, but we I didn't really know. become friends until ninth grade. Yeah. <laughs> Home <laughs> ec. <laughs> um, and now we are, decades later, climbing mountains in Switzerland together. It's very special. <laughs> uh, we have gotten to the top of this climb right at sunset. Look at this amazing, spectacular colors behind us um and really just i think the best timing we could have had even if it means walking this last three quarter mile in twilight let's do this with a little less ice and more sharpness so serene it's like mostly untouched by people okay So we're now night hiking, <laughs> just a little, um, and it turns out the hut was at least a mile further. 
than what All Trails was telling us. So hopefully we'll be there soon. We're starting to hear noises that sound like people noises and not sheep bell noises. Fingers crossed. The best part of staying in huts is dinner. I trust you, Hannah. Steady hands. It smells good. Down. It a little bit smells like oval cake. Wow, it smells delicious. This is what a a room in shared mattress storage gets you. I use the windowsill as a refrigerator for our sandwich materials. different types of Swiss cheeses. So our breakfast buffet for this morning. A fruit salad, some yogurt. It's day two, our first full day of hiking. We're going up there. I love hut to hut hiking. Everything is so easy. You sleep in a comfy bed. They feed you. It's the best of both worlds. This little cloud has settled in our valley. You can see our hut straight ahead of us. We're starting off with the first of three of our major ascents today. Already feeling a, a little winded. I think we're, we're supposed to be doing 12 miles. We'll see if it turns into more like last night's hike did. You turn a corner and all of a sudden you see another hut. Pretty hazy, but pretty good views. Crazy how flat it is down in the valley, just to see all the farmland. The sun is out, we're warm, nice. we're on the ridge. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Hannah on that. <laughs> Thank you.
We just had a little snack break. Had another hut we passed, bowling van. Refilled our waters and now, whew, getting ready for our second pass of the day. And it's looking like it's gonna be pretty steep. Shooting for the top of this ridge line up here. We just finished, I think one of the last major descents is pretty steep. Uh, we actually ended up taking a detour from our originally planned route just because the trail that we had picked out on all trails was like an unofficial, not real trail. And we were nervous that it would be hard to, to navigate. So took the, the road more traveled and we don't regret it. I think you can't, you just can't go wrong in a place like this in terms of views. So we're gonna hike down around Seyalpense and then we're gonna hike back up the ridge to Schaeffler up there. forest we get to walk through. Okay, we made it all the way down. Take a quick break. And then we go all the way back up. Our hut will be somewhere, sorry, up here. We are about to start our final ascent up to Schaeffler Ridge. I thought we were done with our descent earlier, but there was really much more descent left to be descended. And that hurt a little. So this is also probably gonna hurt a little, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> Actually standing there, it shot up to 168. <laughs> right, this is I think we're over halfway through on our ascent. I really hope so. But it looks like we've come a long ways.
<laughs> You're creating a rock slide. There's Schaeffler nestled in to the ridge of that mountain up there. We're almost there. Finishing up for the day, we made it up here all in one piece. None of us fell off the mountain. Before I was so rudely interrupted by my <laughs> phone storage becoming full. Um, we just finished up, well, Hannah and I finished 13.6 miles because we had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and apparently we walked a mile to go to the bathroom and Patrick finished 12 something. So, um, finishing up here at Schaeffler Hut, which is just behind me. Get a nice warm bed and warm dinner before taking the gondola down in the morning. Cheers. <laughs> Soup season. This is a fun feature. No showers, just a washroom with sinks. <laughs> That's fine. Just, just washing the armpits with water. <laughs> and some refreshing wipes we found on this little ledge here. <laughs> It's day three, and we're waking up to sunrise here at Schaeffler. Woke up this morning to another wonderful local Swiss breakfast, and a beautiful sunrise here on Schaeffler Ridge. Just a short day today. I think we've got just under a mile and a half hiking down to the gondola and then taking the lift down to town. You can actually see the I believe that's the gondola house on the hill up there. are in the car on the way home. Uh, just dropped Hannah off at the airport. 
She's actually here for a business meeting, so she's flying off to Berlin. Um, we're a little tired, in sore need of a shower, but for us that's become more and more an indication of a weekend well spent. So we had a really great time this weekend. Uh, we are in Germany for the next two months still, um, going through some training at work before we will be moving to Australia for the next couple of years. So just looking forward to making the most out of the time that we have here.